Hello, hello, this is Laiosh. Welcome back to Live Study Library. Today we're going to be talking about how to actually be confident, or at least as part of it. So everyone talks about how to become more uh, confident, how to be more social, how to be more extroverted. These kind of endeavors are really inefficient, primarily because it's really hard to change your personality. Half of your personality is built from genetics, and the other half is pretty much from your environment. This has been proven by like so many previous studies, but um, this, but this pretty much means that half of your personality trait is predetermined and will most likely not alter. So if, if you're, so if your genetic part of your personality is that you're an introvert like me, you can't just decide to be a complete extrovert and be the heart of every party. So trying to completely change your personality is pretty ridiculous, but you can change the traits that you have because of your personality. What do I mean by this? So let's say, for example, if your general personality is a shy introvert. Because you're shy, you're hesitant to explore new things in life. And because you're hesitant about it, you're not able to learn new stuff, which makes you less curious and open about new stuff. And this might apply to your social life. Because you're hesitant about meeting new people, you won't make a lot of friends. The point of focus is to not change your personality by forcing yourself to become a completely different person, but rather strengthen or train your personality that can result in an improvement of a part of your personality trait that you are unsatisfied with. So when you think about training your personality, there are these four main categories of your personality. It's like, it's like your categories for your personality status, which are conscientiousness, to be able to be earnest, extroversion, overall curiosity, openness to new experience, being able to take in new stuff, and agreeableness, being able to collaborate and work with other people. And you're going to be thinking, okay, that's a number of important personality traits. And I also see so many advices on how to train these personality traits. But I want to know what I can start with. What's the most no-brainer personality improvements for babies that I can do to start myself up? And yeah, advice is like creating a new hobby or having more opportunities to be social. These are indeed helpful advices, but that's not what I'm here for today. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this one method that you can do to improve all of those four personality traits that I mentioned before. By implementing this method, you're going to be able to improve all these four personality traits all at once. Sounds amazing, isn't it? And that method is physical activity. Likewise, in this channel, I talk about these interesting scientific and psychological information by implementing data from scientific studies. So if you're interested in watching my video and are interested in watching my other videos, please subscribe and support this channel. Thank you. Let's go. So today's study is done at the University of Montpellier, which is a university in France. They actually examined a number of different studies, but I'm going to summarize it for you. So they basically collected a total of 8,723 samples and examined the relationship between physical activity and personality change over 20 years. So these participants are first tested on their personality trait, and they were given 25 adjectives that described the four personality traits that I mentioned before. So 25 adjectives, each one that described uh, conscientiousness, openness, extroversion, and agreeableness. So these so these adjectives included stuff like honest or social or a team worker or curious and you know stuff like that participants were then asked to scale how much they agreed or disagreed with each of with each one of the adjectives so how much they thought each one of them represented their perceived personality the next part of the study examined how physically active they were participants were asked how often they participated in light physical activities such as walking jogging or dancing and how often they participated in vigorous physical activities such as running swimming or lifting weights and each participant answered in different frequencies, so so three or four times a week, uh, less than one month, and if someone walked every single day, they would say every day. The results showed that physical activity is significantly associated with developments of the four personality traits, the conscientiousness, agreeableness, extroversion, and openness, and the effect was significant in both short and long-term time periods. This was the case among difference in sex, race, education level, and overall health level. In contrast, Physical inactivity was associated with steeper decline in all four personality traits, despite differences in, in sex, race, education level, and overall health level. So the point is, even if it's just one day of you trying to, I don't know, like walk for 20 minutes or something, it helps you in the development of the four personality traits. Because first of all, you are trying this new activity of walking. So it increases your extroversion. And because you're accepting this foreign activity, there is an improvement in openness. And by experiencing this new activity, you're going to be able to realize, oh, so the people who I kept passing by who were actively walking, so this is what it felt like for them. This improves your agreeableness because you're able to understand these other walkers, which is essential in team working. And your mind is set and is working hard to complete this 20-minute walk, 
which improves your conscientiousness. And these effects will of course show more significance in the long term, especially conscientiousness. And if you've been paying attention to what I just said right now, you're going to be able to realize that the intensity or the frequency of the physical activity doesn't matter. As long as you participate in any kind of physical activity, you're going to be able to see major improvements in these four personality traits. So when you think it like that, there's pretty much no reason for you to not be physically active. So in this video, I've talked about how physical activity will contribute to a positive development in your conscientiousness, agreeableness, extroversion, and openness. And even a day of being physically active will leave you with tremendous amount of benefits. So when, so when people say stuff like, um, I can't make a habit out of physical activity because I don't see any immediate change, immediate positivity. Well, they're too focused on the physical aspect of it in terms of your personality and your cognitive state. Even just a day of being physically active will leave you with mind-blowing amount of personality development. And then if you can make physical activity a habit, then the benefits you gain from it will last way beyond your immediate life. So I highly suggest you start moving your body. Any intensity will be fine. So that was today's video. Uh, thank you for listening. And I know you people have questions like, well, where should I start? You know, I've never really been physically active in my whole life. So I don't know how, where to, I don't know what kind of physical activity I need to start with. And for those of you, you don't need to go to the gym. You don't need to join a sports team or, or none of those things. I highly recommend you start out by doing this workout called the HIIT training. It's a workout that you can do it at your home, no equipment needed, no prior experience of physical activity needed, and it works out your body at the cellular level. So the workout is basically you move your body around for 20 seconds at your uh, maximum intensity and then rest for 10 seconds and then move around for 20 seconds again and repeating that for a total of 4 minutes. So yeah, I'll just make another video talking about the HIIT workout specifically for another time, but that's it for now. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe so you can watch my other videos and my future content. And one more thing, if you're curious about learning about the topics that I haven't covered in this channel, please leave a comment. Alright, that's it for now. I'll see you in my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.